the front edge of our hood is still just raw towel so we're going to go ahead and cover this with bias tape so that it won't ravel on us and we're also going to fold in the ends of our bias tape just like we did at the last part of the seam inside the hood so that this will have a nice finished edge as well that won't ravel when we wash our towel we're going to wrap this around the front raw edge of our towel so again we want the shorter side of our bias tape facing up so that we make sure we catch both the top and the bottom while we sew you can pin the whole thing in place if you feel a little more confident you can go ahead and stitch it we're going to back stitch at each end we're going to go all the way across for the most part you're only stitching on one level layer of towel so it's not too difficult but when you get to that center seam where you're sewing over top of the seam and the bias tape it is going to be a little bit thick I'm going to just roll the hand wheel over that part to make sure my needle doesn't break. It doesn't matter which way you fold that seam, whichever way it feels easier while you're sewing. So it is a little thicker right here. I'm going to just roll my hand wheel over that thick part and then pick up with my foot pedal on the other side. When we get to the very end, just like we did on the inside, we're going to trim some and fold it under. Again, we don't want any of those raw edges. We want to be able to use our towel and wash it a lot without worrying about it raveling and coming apart from use. So we're going to fold that under and then cover our towel edge again, stitch all the way, and back stitch. Okay. So we have that whole front side covered in bias tape and we've caught the back side too so we don't have any holes. Now we can get our beak. We're going to line it up right on that center seam. So it feels like a curve. This is actually a flat line. But just line that up right here. Center it on that seam and stitch it. We want to make sure that we stitch in at least as far as the bias tape so that the bias tape won't show on the outside. Back stitch at each end. Let's trim those threads. Maybe you don't always trim threads until the end. I like to trim them as I go. All right, now we're going to take this whole seam and fold it under for a hem to make our nice, clean, finished edge. So I'm going to turn it where I can see my hem. And this is pretty simple. Just fold it, stitch along the edge of that bias tape. It'll make a hem and a nice, clean, finished edge on the outside. We want to back stitch at each end. Same thing when we get to that center part, it is going to be a little bit thick. Even though I have an industrial machine, I'm going to just roll the hand wheel, make sure that's not too thick for some speed. Once I get over that, I can pick up with my foot pedal again. it's ready for the eyes and then we'll attach it to the body.